The Canadian Food Brains Bank implemented a conservation agriculture project in Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Kenya from 2015 to 2020. The project targeted equal proportions of female and male smallholder farmers, and while the project focused on the introduction of CA techniques, it also encouraged male and female farmers to join savings, loans, and marketing groups. It carried out gender sensitization sessions and policy advocacy. This approach was referred to as CA+. Let's look at some of the project's key conclusions and takeaways. Firstly, the wider CA plus focus, and in particular, the involvement of women in savings and loans groups led to positive impacts for women's empowerment. Women expressed greater confidence and some assumed leadership roles. Secondly, it was possible to assess the project's impacts on gender equality because the data collection and analysis were disaggregated by sex, age, and marital status. The project found significant differences between the experiences and outcomes for female heads and married women. For instance, female heads had less access to land and inputs, while married women had less ability to make decisions about agriculture and finances. Thirdly, it's critical to understand local ideas and conceptions of empowerment and gender equality. For instance, married women spoke about being able to carry out decision making jointly with their husbands as a form of empowerment. Fourth, CA programs should and can encourage men to assume roles and responsibilities for household nutrition and food security. Fifth, there's a need to advocate for gender equality with community leaders and governmental actors in concert with CA plus introduction. Six, the project's evaluation revealed the importance of having concrete strategies and approaches to increase the participation, leadership and agency of female heads and married women. Finally, the evaluation also verified the important role of male and female CA plus adopters as role models and gender champions in their households and communities. Interviews with female CA plus adopters revealed how they were able to overcome barriers and tackle gender norms at a community level. While interviews with male CA adopters revealed some changes in gender norms. Importantly, the interviews highlighted opportunities and best practices for future CA programming. For more information on this project, please visit foodgrainsbank.ca. As well, please take a look at the video link provided on the poster to view the documentary, Growing Her Future, and meet Aznakech Zima on her thriving farm in Southern Ethiopia to hear her story of empowerment through CA+.